Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy. For today's video, we are going to be talking about some alleged captured footage of brujas in Mexico. So if you're interested, grab your snacks, grab your cobija, and let's get straight into it. So let's begin with the state of Querétaro. The state of Querétaro is very known for its rich history of witches. One of the reasons why it's very known. In Querétaro, it is tradition that thousands of people go walking to the Basilica of Soriano in Colón by foot. However, it is rumored that they do not go alone on their journey. Many people recount having weird occurrences were happening while they were walking to the Basilica. And they feel as if the witches were preventing them from reaching their destination. The people say that they appear in the form of balls of light, commonly known as balls of fire and this serves as a purpose to derail those that go praying to the basilica so throughout the night throughout the dark paths since these floating lights appear it makes the people curious and want to follow these lights it is believed that the objective of the witches is to reduce the number of catholics that get to arrive at the basilica so now the part that i am the most excited about is this video that i'm about to share with you guys maybe you guys have already seen this video or maybe you guys have not pero para mi gente that have not seen it oh my god you guys this video now this video was taken in queretaro between the towns of la trinidad and Fuentesuelas and between those small towns there is this pathway that is very low trafficked kind of abandoned and imagine at night it's a ghost town there well in November 2020 a man was walking back to his house when he started to feel a strange feeling he started to feel as if someone was observing him so he decided to record and you guys what he captures just watch just just take a look no, yo voy para mi casa yo. O sea, que perro se escuchó. Ya, ya casi llego yo a mi casa. Ay, güey. Tengo un pinche paniqueado. Ay, no, 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 perra madre. Ah, su perra madre. No mames. <laughs> when the people of the town saw this video, they believed that these individuals were in fact witches. But what do you guys think? What would you guys have even done? I mean, if you ask me, I would pick the biggest rock. Yeah, a ver cómo le hago. I don't know, but kudos to him that he ran as fast as he could and got away from them because that looked terrifying. God knows what they would have done with him. So this next video happened in a place where witchcraft is normally practiced and is commonly known as the witch's room, el cuarto de la bruja. While the paranormal channel Guanajuato Paranormal went to this place and what they captured, you guys, just take a look. Ah, la madre, mira. Ay, cabrón, mira. Ah, eso sí es un trabajo fuerte, eh. Tiene alfileres, miren. Esto sí está. Lo tienen bien amarrado, eh. Estoy con sus pinches cochinadas, hombre. ¡Ay, güey! ¡No mames! ¡Ven, acércate! ¡No mames, güey! ¡Ay, güey! Espérate, 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 güey, no mames. ¡A ¡Oh, la madre, güey! ¡No mames! <risa> ¿Dónde estás? ¡No mames, güey! Si ¿Sí le viste, cómo está horrible. No mames. No mames, a ver, vente, güey. Vente, vente, vente. Pásate por ahí, yo me paso por acá. Sí, sí. 
Se va a dejar todo, eh. El otro día corrió para allá arriba. Eres Martina, ¿verdad? No, está horrible, güey. Horrible, horrible. Ay, güey. No mames. Qué bueno que llegaste. Esto me iba a agredir. Mira, mira, mira. Ahí abajo, ahí abajo, ahí abajo. Ahí abajo está. ¿Cuántas están esta noche? Mira. Se aventó para abajo. Yo voy a ver acá porque... No manches, ¿vieron lo que se vio? Horrible, ¿eh? Horrible tenía la cara. ¿Dónde estás? Te acabo de ver. No mames. I'm not gonna lie you guys at first I thought it was fake once I saw that thing I saw oh my god this looks fake like this can't be real but once I saw that there was no edits within the video and they went to see if that thing was there and it wasn't it was like seconds like nothing could disappear that fast no human thing could disappear that fast so what the heck That's where I'm dumbfounded. I don't know. La verdad, you guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm super curious to know what's your guys' opinion on this video because I'm clueless. So let me know down below. Since we are on the topic of brujas, I had to insert this clip. I had to, you guys. So I saw this clip in, ooh, I don't know, hace años, like many years ago when I was a little, I was watching Primer Impacto and I, when I saw this video, I was stunned. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, what's the explanation? But their explanation was that it was a bruja flying in Monterrey. I already know many of you guys already seen this video because it was popping back then. It was super popular, but now I have to bring it back because i want to know your guys's opinion about these things so take a look for the ones that haven't seen it fue realmente una suerte que que nos tocara en ese momento estar presentes y que hubiera dos cámaras en ese momento también o sea y por ejemplo porque no siguió derecho tras revisar una y otra vez el video jerónimo junto a los integrantes del ovni club nuevo león comenzaron a notar que aquella mancha flotante lucía como una persona encorvada que vestía una túnica con capucha puntiaguda incluso hubo quien aseguró que parecía volar sobre una escoba así llegaron a una primera conclusión tal vez aquello era una bruja por alguna extraña razón Monterrey se ha convertido en el escenario favorito de una serie de fenómenos extraños. Míralo, míralo, ahí está. Ahí Pero está. esa presunta aparición era solo un caso más, hasta que el testimonio de este policía cambió el panorama. Veo una persona vestida de negro, así con plumas, dos garras negras, así negras. Ajá, me asusto y hago cuenta que donde la veo así, pero ella iba agachada. Entonces me hago para atrás, me meto otra vez al cuarto donde estaba y de este lado al cerrar la puerta venía otro. Según él, una noche cuando vigilaba este lote de autos recibió la visita de dos seres que volaban sobre el Panteón de Santa Catarina, ubicado a espaldas del cerro donde fue grabada la enigmática figura. Dos años antes, Leonardo Samaniego relató un encuentro similar. Curiosamente, él también era un policía. Estaba vestido de negro y tenía unos ojos grandes y es morena. Pero ya no la cansé de ver más. Estaba vestida de negro, traía un gorro con una punta hacia atrás. Pero no tenía nada de escoba, nada. Pero iba volando sola. El oficial Samaniego, quien trabaja en un municipio distinto al de su colega, contó mientras era auxiliado por paramédicos que una bruja lo había atacado, dejándolo inconsciente. Los noticieros locales comenzaron a dar cuenta de otros inquietantes sucesos. La supuesta bruja de poco más de metro y medio de altura. Surgió entonces la duda de si aquellos casos tenían relación con la imagen grabada recientemente por Jerónimo y sus compañeros del Omniclub. 
Hasta ahora nadie ha podido determinar la naturaleza de ese extraño objeto o ser que fue captado justo en la cúspide de esta montaña, aunque sus características coinciden en ciertos casos con las que dieron los dos oficiales de policía que aseguran haber tenido frente a sus propias narices a una bruja. But what do you guys think? Did you guys ever see the video in Primer Impacto? Oh my gosh, when I saw that segment, mira, las cuatro de la tarde, after school, I was shook, traumatized, me quedé traumada because, you know, I was like, what? I just couldn't understand what was going on. Like, how is this even possible? And I remember being super young. But yeah, let me know if you guys experienced this because I know I'm not the only one out there. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Something that I do want to specify before I leave is that not all witches look like that and not all witches are evil. There are good and bad as with anything. So just take that as you will. I'm going to leave my opinion very neutral on this topic because it's not like... Who cares what I think, you know? But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.